Hey guys, this is Rishi Chalani from The Dark Knot. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. And today I want to talk to you about mixing and matching tie patterns to your suits and shirts. Now, in the previous video I've covered how to match tie colors to your suits and shirts, but a lot of guys get really hung up on pattern. And again, this is one of the reasons why I started The Dark Knot is when I used to go out and go shopping, I would find these great items of clothing, but I wouldn't necessarily know what to wear them with. And so that's part of our brand is to help gentlemen dress better. Now. When we're looking to match patterns, one of the simplest things we can do is to take a pattern shirt and just go with a solid tie. So as long as and you can learn from the previous video, we know what color schemes we're working with, a solid tie is always going to look good against a pattern shirt. Now this is one of the simplest ways to go out and dress up and look elegant and without really having to worry about whether your patterns are clashing or working or not. So here we have a solid red tie. This is a, a gorgeous knitted red tie that goes really well against a blue shirt. So that's just a solid tie against a checkered blue shirt and that's pretty much a winning combination every single time. Another example of a solid color scheme here is to go with a darker purple tie against a pinkish lilac shirt. Again this is a solid tie against a micro check shirt and the patterns here obviously work well because there's no pattern on the tie. It's simple and it matches really well with this uh, you know, micro checkered shirt. Now, the next thing we can work on is when we have two different patterns. Now, what's absolutely critical, and this is the one thing I want you to take away from this video, is whether the patterns are different or not isn't as material as the proportion of the pattern sizing. What you ideally want to do is work your way up. You could do the reverse, but I'll start with what's more traditional and looks more classy, is to start with a smaller patterned shirt, like narrow stripes or, narrow, or, or smaller checks, and go towards a tie pattern that's more spaced apart. Because you see, the goal is to create contrast between the shirt and the tie. So if the tie has a larger pattern and the shirt has a smaller space pattern, you're working your way out and it's really going to create visual interest. So when we're working with two different patterns, for example, here we can go with, again, this micro checkered shirt, but we can go with a polka dot tie. Now the polka dots on the tie are wider spaced, as you can see here, and the checks on the shirt are narrower spaced. So you have a wider space polka dot tie. This is one of our very own from the Dark Knot, uh, Waltham Dots, against a smaller checkered shirt. And the last way you can combine patterns is to take two patterns that are basically the same or similar, so two stripes. But again, like I said, and the one thing you really wanna take away from this video is pattern proportion. So we can have a stripe shirt, which is narrow stripe, against a block stripe, university stripe, wider stripe tie. And we have an example of that here. So here we have our uh, Canterbury navy red tie and it works really well with this narrow blue stripe shirt so here you can see you have a narrow blue stripe on the shirt and you have wider block stripes on the tie and so it works really well because you have the pattern proportion now like I said dressing up is something I used to struggle with and so what we've done with the dark knot is every single one of our ties that we sell, in addition to our pocket squares and lapel flowers, which you can see a link to below in the video, have recommendations for what suits and shirts to wear them with. And I've thought about color combinations and pattern combinations. So you'll see this is one of the dark knot ties. It comes in elegant gift box packaging. This tie here is our hangover abstract blue tie. It's a blue and pink of foulard or abstract motif with a repeating pattern that's widely spaced apart. So these, each of these ties come in this packaging with this card with recommendations for matching suits and shirts. So as you can see, this is a wider spaced pattern and this wider spaced pattern tie, okay, is going to work well with a narrower shirt. And this is what the card says. Hanover abstract is recommended with a solid or narrow pinstriped pink, white, light blue, or green shirt. And if you're confused by the colors, you can look at the previous video about color theory. But notice that I've said solid, or because any pattern tie will go really well with a solid shirt, or a narrow pinstripe shirt. So because this is a wider uh, spaced pattern, this is gonna work really well with a pinstripe shirt. And I can show you that right now. So here we have a blue shirt with the narrow stripes that I showed you earlier and this is a wider space pattern. And you can see how because the shirt pattern is small and you're working your way up towards a larger scale tie pattern, it's going to pop off absolutely perfectly. 
So I hope you found this video useful. Again, please feel free to subscribe below to get future video updates. You can go on our website and sign up um, for the newsletter or in the sign up box to get future uh, blog updates. We also have a five part blog series about dressing well, where we'll give you tips about how to dress well, covering uh, shirts to wear, suits to wear, what types of ties to wear and things like that. Um, where, and you'll also get future discounted product offerings if, if you sign up for our newsletter. Please feel free to visit the website. We have about 120 necktie designs, about 50 different lapel flowers, 30 pocket squares. They all come with recommendations for matching attire. And there's a ton of useful information on our necktie guide on our website and also our men's formal wear style blog where we've been blogging about formal style for about three years now with over 150 articles. So thank you again very much for your interest in the dark knot and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thank you.